Yeah, to be honest with you, to sort of be on the BA flight back with you know Jess Ennis Hill and Sir Bradley Wiggins, and to come back to such an incredible reception is uh, you know, it's really hit home uh, what the Olympics means to everybody back here. Yeah, it was great to meet Andy. Actually, I'd never met him before, so uh, you know we, we did the opening ceremony. He was obviously the very worthy flag bearer for us, and um, I was able to share a bus ride back with him, and uh, it was good to chat with him. You know, obviously a very you know our sports kind of exist in parallel worlds in a way, similar type of schedule and and demands on us on ourselves from that point of view, and. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just really good to get his perspective, his approach, and, you know, fast-forwarding 10 days, it was cool to see us both get a gold medal. See, Rory's a good mate of mine, and he texts me, massive congratulations, and uh, so that was very, very cool of him. But, uh, yeah, I think there's probably been, there's been a lot of positivity around golf being back in the Olympics and the way it went down these four days, and obviously I wish all the girls um, luck, the ladies this week playing, and hopefully they can have a successful event as well and just keep the momentum going. You know, ce yeah, celebrate, enjoy it, enjoy it with close friends, but chill a little bit as well. You know, I really, I haven't seen my kids for three weeks, so really want to spend some time with them. Uh, when I called my little boy, he was crying, and, and to be honest with you, he's not that into golf. So, so this achievement seemed to resonate with him on a, on a different level too. So um, just get back, enjoy it with the kids, family, close friends.